Good morning. Well, I say morning, it's Sunday afternoon. Welcome to Gloucester. This is the third tee. Why the hell am I starting here? Well, as your handicap falls, as you get better, and you go from 18 and you're pushing on down to a 12 handicap, you're gonna come across holes like this. Last week, you had a shot on it. It didn't matter if you missed the green and chipped and two putted, made a bogey, net par, didn't matter. But now it does. But there's only two things that have changed. The hole is exactly what it was last week. What's changed is, firstly, you're playing better golf. And secondly, what might possibly be going on in here now you haven't got a shot? Let's go play a few of those easy holes where you're going to be dropping shots. I think one of the most important things you have to learn as your handicap is coming down is exactly how far you hit the ball through the air with your average shot and not your best shot. Well, I can quite happily hit a 7 iron up here, carry this bunker and leave myself an uphill putt. But that requires one of my best shots with the 7 iron. So the back third of this green looks considerably more attractive than hitting an average shot with my 7 iron into the bunker. Make sure the putt's a bit awkward. I could get it wrong. But a par 3 is what we need as our handicap falls. Now I've been asked, is my neck and back getting any better? This is the fourth tee. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better. The fifth is stroke 11. It's a short par four. There's no direct line into the green. You've got to fly it in just like the par three third. So I'm going to include it here. And leaving yourself a comfortable yardage into greens like this is what it's all about. 86, slightly uphill, is very comfortable. I can swing within myself. And when I'm swinging at about 90% with a wedge, I can hit it real close. No surprise that you're losing your shot on a short par 5. Even from the back tee, it's a short par 5. And as the ground gets firmer and firmer, we're going to start running closer and closer to the green. But we don't automatically go for the green, especially with sand and water. If we're feeling good, then we have a go. If we're having a bit of a bad day, then it's a hybrid, short, chip it on. Rely on a chip and a putt for the bird. As it happened, I missed the green, so I am relying on a chip and a putt for the bird. But we don't go autopilot for our second shot. It all depends on what the hazards are and how we're feeling that day or how we're swinging. Well, we move on to the next hole where you're going to lose a shot and it's another par five. And even from the competition tees, it's only 485 yards. So uh, we're going to be going for birdie, aren't we? Well, not on this one. There's a water hazard right in the middle of the fairway. And if you can't guarantee to get over it, whether you're playing the white tees there or the yellow tees just here, you can't go for it. You don't have a shot. You can't afford to drown a ball. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't afford to lose Pro V1s. So you're going to have to hit an iron. You're going to have to be disciplined. And it's very strange hitting an iron on a par five, but sometimes you've just got to do it. If I was to take you to Eastern Star in Thailand, there's a par five there. Well, you're not going to be hitting your tee shot any more than 180 yards. And then your second shot is with a longer club than what you teed off with. It's very bizarre. 
it's the same here on this one. You may have a hole on your course that's the same, where you need discipline to get that par now that you've lost your shot. Let's hope I can demonstrate that without making a mess of it. <laughs> I better get a six. I better get a six doing it this way. So as it happens, I can get over this pond from this tee box with the driver. But that's not what this video is about. So we take the five iron. We're nowhere near the water. First job done. We take a five iron because we don't get it, want to get tucked up underneath the oak tree on the right hand side. Job done. Remember this was an easy hole when we had a shot on it. Now it's not quite so easy. Leaves ourselves an eight iron up the hill. And for those people who think that we've sacrificed the birdie, well, think again. Well, that's the easy holes done on the front line, or well, certainly the easy holes according to the card. Now I'm losing my rhythm a bit because I'm behind two three balls. Now those two three balls, all six of them took driver on the eighth there. Not one of them got over. Two went in, two hit enormous slices because they were trying to hit it too hard. One duffed it and the sixth one hit a hard pull because he was trying to hit it too hard. Now if they'd seen me tee off with a five iron, they'd probably consider me to be the one who's a lunatic and got it all wrong. Hmm, live and learn, don't you? Well, the competition tee here is one, four, six. So it's an eight iron front and a seven iron further up the green. And again, we hit par threes by swinging within ourselves. We don't take the eight iron from the back tee and try to knock the cover off the ball. It is so important to hit fairways and greens when your handicap is falling. As I say, you always do this, you achieve this by swinging at 90%. It's always very hard to convince people to do so. Number 15. And um, I haven't got a card with me and I've forgotten what the stroke index is. This little board here says stroke six, but part of me is thinking, stroke six? Anyway, whether it's six or not, it's a downhill hole. And you can stand up here with your driver and try and knock seven shades of what's it out of the ball and you might actually get 20 yards closer to the green but you might lose your ball you know as you come down as you lose strokes hitting fairways is so important and the way you hit fairways is to swing within yourself not slow so the daft thing is is when you slow down a bit you get the speed at the bottom at the ball so you slow down, but you don't lose distance. What you gain is dispersion. Let's give it a go. A smelly drive, but it's been so slow this afternoon. I'm actually stiffening up, even in glorious sunshine. Another important thing with wedges is to try and give yourself uphill putts. And this is what exactly what I'm doing here. Just getting myself on the low side. Because this is a more attractive proposition than putting down. And even though that is an awful putt, par is a very good score. I 
I think I'd quit the day that par is no longer a good score. 113, 9-iron, swing within myself. I'm going to be more accurate than trying to lace the pitching wedge. Especially with a bit of wind about. And I'm exactly pin high. The ball didn't move in the air as much as I thought it would. But again, it's another par. And this is what we got to do as we lose our shots. Many, many years ago, when I was about a 17, 16 handicap, something like that. And I was knocking it around here in a competition with a guy called Tim Farley, who was off three or four, I, I forget which. And he hit a seven iron down here and then wedged it on. I pulled out a wood. Now, I can't remember if I made a mess of it or not. But basically what Tim said was, the moment you realize you're long enough to get over all this out of bounds is the very moment your average score will go up. Now you're not a member at Gloucester so you don't have this dog leg left over all the out of bounds but you might have a hole stroke 16, stroke 14, something like that where you get a shot and now you've lost your shot and you've got this out of bounds that's really close to your line of play well that's when you've got to go safe isn't it? Hit your iron, hit your wedge, some days you'll make a bird, some days you'll make your par, most of the time you'll make your par and occasionally you'll three jab it for a bogey but you'll do a hell of a lot better than taking it on and going three off the tee, birdie, three off the tee, par, three off the tee, par, five off the tee, you know how it goes your average goes up. So let's be sensible here and just just knock an iron down. Well, it's all downhill and it's going to run a long way, so what's the point of trying to belt it? Nice easy swing. Find the fairway. Cheerio!